Accounting Superstars. This is Professor Don Bush from the Accounting Superstar channel. I've been a professor for 30 years, CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. And also, I've got a website. It's called accountingsuperstars.com. I've got all my videos listed by topic, so they're easy to find. So check it out. So anyways, today's lesson is for students who are in their very first accounting class, probably about week seven or eight, studying accounts receivable and uh, learning how to calculate interest and also the date that uh, the note or uh, receivable is due. So here we go, folks. Let's get started. We've got when we get to a construction, uh, notes receivable, calculating interest and due date. This is the first example. So when we get to a construction performed work for a customer, according to the agreement, uh, the customer signed a note receivable. The terms of the note are as follows. So the principal of the note, the amount um, of the note, the face value is $400,000. So it's a large note. Interest rate, 6%. Now that's based on annual terms. And the, net, the note was signed on August 5th, 2021 and the term is 90 days. So the note is due in 90 days. So the question is, well, how much interest is going to be received and what day exactly should that note be paid? So here we go, here's how we figure it out. So it's really easy. I'm gonna split the screen here just so it's a little easier to see. There we go. And folks, here it is. So what, what we do is we got to ask yourself, okay, what day was the note signed? It was signed in August, August 5th. So what you do is you ask yourself, well, how many days are there in August? Well, folks, there are 31 days in August. There we go. And then next what you do is you uh, ask yourself, okay, the note was signed on the 5th. So uh, you put down here five and you subtract. So 31 days minus five days and you get 26 days. Now I'm going to put 26 days over here in the subtotal column just so it makes sense, it adds up. Uh, now the, the note isn't due for 90 days, so we've got to make this all add up to 90 days. So you have to ask, well, how many days are there in September? Well, there are 30 days in September. So what you do is get a little subtotal there we go, 56. So all it is is 26 days plus 30 is 56. So we've already uh, traveled through 56 days of this uh, note term. How many days are in October? There are 31 days in October. So again, you get a little subtotal and we get 87 days. Now here's where you gotta be careful because this note is due in 90 days and we're already up to 87 days. So we only need three more days, that's all we need. So three more days, so a grand total of 90 days. There we go, so we figured it out. It's really pretty easy to do. With this little system, you can't uh, miss. So uh, to, the, to answer the question, when is the note due? It's due on November 3rd, uh, 2000X1. So how much interest is due? Well, that's easy also. So here's the formula, it's easy to remember. PRT, in other words, principal times rate times time. Now the principal is $400,000. The interest rate is 6%, that's the rate. Now that's in annual terms. Now the time is tricky. You can't just multiply it by 90 days or you won't get the right answer. But here's what you have to do, folks. You go 400,000, the principal, times 6%, that's the rate. And here's the trick. 90 days over 365 days. You have to say, okay, this note is in days. Well, how many dates are there in a year? And you might say, well, why do we have to do all this? Well, the reason is, is because the interest rate is in annual terms. And so we have to make the time in annual terms also. And we do that by dividing by 365 days. So if you go 400,000 times 6% times 90 divided by 365, the amount of interest calculates out to $5,918. So what you do is, uh, lastly, you say, well, what's the journal entry to record this interest? Very simple. We'll have um, interest receivable. 
There we go, because we haven't been paid yet, but we will receive it. And we, we don't want to make this journal entry until we actually have earned that interest and interest revenue. All right. So, and the amount is going to be 5918 And if you're wondering where that number came from, just figured it out a moment ago. There we go. So folks, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. And if it did, let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And until next time, over and out.